All right, so during like dunk session, especially when I'm by myself, I don't really do too many things that's of the extreme or difficult. I just like to test where I'm at bounce wise, but you know, since we're here, I'll give you one, I'll give you one. Yo, what's up, what it do? Yo, hey, shit, what's up, my beard? Oh, gray hair. What's good, yo, this is a remix. All right, now listen, we're gonna go over this. I know I probably went over this so many times, but we're gonna go over it again more in detail because I wanna let you know how I eat for bounce and physique. Actually, when you just eat for bounce, like the physique would actually come. Uh, both diets kind of run into each other. Now, first of all, let me just really emphasize on getting your max all right make sure you get your max your max is very important what are max max are your macronutrients protein carbohydrates and your healthy fats now you want to figure that out and i'll post a link below um and it's personalized for you and you got to hit those that is your daily requirements for all the nutrients that you're going to put in your body and if you want to perform at the best of your ability you got to put in the nutrients now quality is also important and we're going to get to that. But make sure you're hitting your max. So look up your max and get to that. All right, so let's just go over the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. And this can be pretty tedious, but it's all good because it's the most important part of the day. I mean, you want to spend time on that. I mean, you want to start your, 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 your engine. You know what I mean? Like you want to, you want to function, right? Right. Ain't gonna be no hot Cheetos and Kool-Aid. I know some of y'all like, you know, go all day hot Cheetos and Kool-Aid and you find yourself on the court and you dying. So anyway, let's just go ahead. Matter of fact, let me turn this camera real All right, quick. so as you can see, it's sort of a meal prep, not too much, but my daily calorie amount is 220 calories, all right? And uh, most importantly, my highest amount or my highest portion is gonna be protein because protein is definitely important for recovery. And the way I work out, recovery is key. So let's go over my daily regimen. All right, this right here, yeah, this weird looking drink. I make sure I kill that before I kill anything. This is apple cider vinegar, some raw honey, and a slice of lemon. And what that is going to do is that is going to boost my metabolism. Woo! Yeah, we got to get that out of the way before we put anything else in. I get the same reaction every time I drink this crap. Let's probably go to the pill. All right, so after drinking that, kill me some water, and I make sure I take my multivitamins, all right? And I got this all on bodybuilding.com, so you go there and check that out. Yeah, the plug. All right, so in the morning, in the morning, I'm going with two scoops of oats and one serving of that Greek yogurt non-fat greek yogurt has 17 grams of protein 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 is key for recovery so you want to make sure you're hitting that protein like asap get that protein in and then the oats is just really good carbs that's energy fuel but with oats is really pure and it also has fiber so it's going to also get the body functioning so make sure you get that in all right and then i'm going to go ahead and have me a Nice little one serving of that whey protein, as you can see, 100% whey. And yes, again, protein, 25 grams, knocking it out. My favorite kind, oatmeal cookie. Can't go wrong with oatmeal, oatmeal cookie. You're going to find out that oatmeal is like, oatmeal's life. So make sure you get that in. All right. And I got to have, got to have my black coffee. Like that's like my day that's starting my day so let's turn so upon having that and have my coffee uh, my coffee and a good read i like to stay on top of things all right this is functional training and that's just athletic movements that's going to help uh keep my athletic mobility and all the above up to par you know knowledge is power so you want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're in that weight room speaking of weight room we're gonna have a really good session today I'm gonna go in and hit some multi-muscle functional training. 
All right, a lot of people are like, yo, how do you work out? And they be like, oh, the calf raises, how about squats? Yo, all that is cool, all that is great. But you wanna do some functional training, which is athletic movements. And what that's gonna do is that it's going to enhance your athletic ability. So, and another question I always get, yo, what's the difference between bodybuilding and training for your vert and does it affect each other? Um, no, it doesn't affect each other because when you're bodybuilding, bodybuilding is more of an isolation of the muscle and the maturity of the muscle, which you're going to really be hitting one muscle group at a time. All right. And that's what's going to get that maturity and you're going to get that real cut look or that real bulk look. Understand? And then when it comes to training for your vertical, you're doing functional training or strength training, which is multi-muscle training. All right, and we're gonna go over that a little bit today when I hit the gym, um, I have a couple of workouts today. Today is gonna be a very light push day just because I really went hard yesterday. And then we're gonna probably get some dunks in. So speaking of that, we gotta eat to make sure that we're fueled throughout the day. So let's switch this kind of Lunch, AKA pre-game, AKA pre-workout meal. And as you can see, all it is is chicken with some ears of broccoli, and I will go with rice, but oatmeal is the safest, so I'll, I'm just killing oatmeal today. You can't go wrong with oatmeal just because it is natural. It's a very pure carb source, and the digestion of it is like real simple, like it's not hard. Um, not taking away from rice and noodles, but um, if you wanna stay light on your feet, you know, you gotta stay away from a lot of things that are processed. Processed meaning that it been tampered with by man, so, and yeah, then again, what hasn't been tampered with? Anyway, so that's gonna be pre-game meal. We're just gonna keep that there. And again, we are hitting the max of 220 grams or calories um, with a high protein uh, source. And also go with the pre-workout, take a scoop of that. And that is just something that's gonna give me an extra kick. All right, so. Yeah, I do take pre-workout and it's great. That's the extra kick. It gives you that that adrenaline rush. Um, it is mainly caffeine or so have you. Um, and it's kind of equivalent to, you know, the Kool-Aid with an extra cup of sugar. You know what I mean? It gets you that. Only crazy part is that you don't have that major crash because it's, it's it's pretty pure. I mean, it's not sugar. Sugar really, it really kick your ass. I'm, I'm just being 100 with you. So, um, Kind of maintain that, you know, hot Cheetos, carbs, bad carbs, but still carbs and uh, Kool-Aid, sugar, carbs, bad carbs. They give you energy, but you probably be on the court looking like uh, LeBron James in game three. No, all right, no hate, that's my boy. You know, Lakers taking it all. Don't even trip. So, oh, another thing, let me just get this in real quick. Uh, milk prepping is great. Milk prepping is great. Um, but I think if you don't have your max, like meal prepping don't make any sense unless you just don't feel like cooking. Unless you really need, you know, you need to eat and you don't feel like going out and and uh, buying burgers or having to go, uh, uh, you know, be all over the stove for every meal. So you can meal prep um, and just eat that way. It'll save you a couple of bucks, which is great. Um, but at the same time, if you don't have your max, the meal prepping is somewhat pointless on hitting your goals. So. If you're meal prepping, get your max. That way you can divide um, however many meals you're gonna eat, which I, I eat five meals. You can divide whatever your max are by five and put that in each meal, all right? So, I mean, you gotta take time on this, man. If you wanna be bouncy, if you wanna have a good physique, listen, it's a science to this, and it's not gonna come just by chance. You gotta go out there and make it happen, all right? So make it happen. Captain. All right, so we are in the courts. Let me fix that a little bit. There we go. There we is. So we out here on the courts. Uh, you know, pre-game meal. Already been down, which is pretty good. I'm hitting my max. Feel energized. Um, now I'm about to have me a little pre-workout. Not really a pre-workout. It's like a basketball cocktail. It has a little bit of caffeine in it. It's going to keep me focused, but not a lot. It's going to really give me the jitters. We're going to say that until I go and hit the weights. But here it is.
by Golden Era VCAs, the basketball cocktail. It's pretty dope. You feel what I'm saying? Has enough caffeine. It's made with pink salt from the Himalayans. And then um, they also made with coconut water so it don't keep me hydrated. So I can do what I do and feel good about it. You know what I mean? Feel good about it. When you look good, you feel good, baby. So now that we got that all down packed, I feel pretty good. I feel uh, like I got enough nutrition in. Carbs is really starting to kick in. Got the pre-workout kicking in, so everything's feeling good. One thing that's really important is the confidence. I mean, when you look good, you feel good. Let's put some dunks down. See how we see how we feel. Today. Legs feeling right. It is getting dark, so let's go ahead and take off the sunglasses. Get a couple of windmills in. Easy work. Get a little parched. That's a good thing about having your hydration on standby because it's like, that's what it's there for. Take a little break, breather.
a couple of keys too. I mean, my dunk sessions only last like five or 10 minutes. I mean, just because I really don't miss. I don't miss. So during like dunk sessions, especially when I'm by myself, I don't really do too many things that's of the extreme or difficult. I just like to test where I'm at bounce wise, but you know, since we're here, I'll give you one, I'll give you one. So we ain't planet fitness, you can tell by all this purple and go. <laughs> but uh we're gonna get it in. Get in regards, no matter where you ask what you do. So we're gonna go with the modified deadlift. Um so full plate RDLs. And we're gonna knock out some hanging leg raises for abs. And it's all gonna be a circuit. So this is really functional training and strengthening up the hips, glutes, the hamstrings, keeping the abs tight. Definitely one of the best vertical leap workouts that I just keep my arsenal because I know it works. Set one. It's very effective. Probably be in here for like 15 minutes. Then we out. Remix balance fit, you already know. Alright, so right away, right after you finish your workout, you got these protein packs. And dissolving water. 
Yeah. 20 grams each, that's 40 grams. No. <laughs> Shake it up. But you want to get your protein in right away just to recover the muscle. I mean, it's been a long day. You want to make sure that your muscles get fed, recover, rejuvenate, and you're ready for the next day. Get your max. Now, this is perks on perks with Planet Fitness. I mean, got the massage chairs, watching the game. <sighs> just gonna kick my feet up and just relax. Get it in. Anyways, yo, uh, you know I'll do this for you guys. So, you know, it's not getting too many views that would like. So make sure you uh, you subscribe, share with your friends to get this information. I mean, it's something that if I would learn a little bit earlier, it would have furthered my career. I mean, I'm pretty happy with my career playing college ball and playing globe charter overseas and and doing a whole bunch of other stuff, slam ball, work with the NBA, like all that. But, um, you know, it was something that I learned along the way. So now I'm just passing it down to you, especially the youth. If you can get this early, understand that nutrition is everything, hit your max, working out, staying consistent, and then keeping the hope alive. Um, it definitely benefits you in the long run. So like I said, subscribe, pass along to your friends. Um, let's get these views up, man. I mean, Remix Bounce Fit, we out until next time. I got 24 seconds left. <laughs> Rondo, Rondo. Wow. This dude, that, that's the same dude. That's the same dude on defense. That's the same dude on defense. Like, get him out the game, man. Get him out the game, bro. He's not even a shooter. Wow. What is he doing? What is he doing in the game, man? What? What is he doing in the game? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's over. It is over. It is over. What is he doing in the game? What is he doing in the game right now? AD, three seconds for the three. It's over. It's over.